Okay, so we have very little time. I'll just quickly give you an overview of how this course is going to be conducted um, and what roles you might be playing will be given in detail in a later uh, lecture in this uh, evening. But this is an overall uh, uh, picture of the course and you're of course uh, free to talk to us or any of our project managers during these breaks. Okay, so this course will be uh, conducted um, in a blended model. Okay. So I'm going to tell you uh, what a blended model is and this is for the first time that we are uh, doing this, although we have done parts of this before, but first time we are trying this in this uh, mission. So uh, the blended model essentially is a blend of an online and a offline or a face-to-face -face part. Now what we are doing now is a face-to-face -face part which will be done by you with your uh, teachers who come to your centers. So the online part again as uh, two components. One is uh, what is known as MOOCs. I'll explain that what uh, in a short while. And the MOOCs uh, platform that we'll be using is uh, called as uh, IIT Bombay X. And the second uh, portion in online is called the Moodle, which, uh, which is also an online platform for uh, taking uh, courses. And the face-to-face uh, -face things will have uh, again two important participants where you who are the local center coordinators will be interacting face to face with people who come to your uh, local centers and the all of you that is you and the uh, students or the teachers who come to your uh, center will be connected remotely to a audio video link with faculty from IIT Bombay. So this will be the face to face part and this will be the online part. So essentially what people will be doing is some kind of a flipped classroom where the participants who come for the uh, workshop in December will first get exposed to the content that uh, is available online. They'll carry out some exercises there and they already come prepared in a certain level. Okay, They come prepared in a certain level. They have to go through assignments and all. I'll go through that detail and then they attend what is a classroom or a face-to-face -face interaction. So this combined thing of an online and offline, online preceding offline is called the uh, flipped classroom and this course will be done in this blended model. So I'll go into the details of it in case some of you are not aware. MOOCs stands for Massively Open Online Course. So massive because it can have shown that it can handle up to 2 lakh participants per course, not the total number of participants. Per course, 2 lakh participants. And it is open in the sense that anybody can join. Usually, there is no charge for joining. And the format in this MOOCs is like this, that there are very short videos, usually 5, to 10, five to 10 minutes, maximum 15, but none of them are 15, but usually around 10 minutes. And they are followed by very short self-assessments. So, in the online platform, people, when they view a particular lecture, soon after that, they are uh, given a very short quiz just based on what they have learned. Very simple recollection of facts and understanding what has been told, not detailed assignments. And then there is a discussion forum where they can post questions that instructors may answer or somebody else may answer. Usually, the participation for this MOOCs is free. Okay. Anybody can join, you can register. There are several MOOCs platforms and you can join. But only if you want to get a certificate that you have completed the course that you need to pay. And you can get uh, registered courses throughout the uh, world. In fact, a typical cost in the US would be something like $25 per course or something like that. So that is MOOCs, one portion. The second thing is called as the uh, uh, Moodle. Some of you might be already using Moodle in your uh, uh, colleges. So Moodle is also it's like a predecessor to this MOOCs and it had all the components that is currently the available in MOOCs but only thing was Moodle was not scalable. It, was, it can take only few thousands at a time. At a time it cannot go to the uh, large number. So the whole uh, concept behind this was rewritten and they rediscovered or reinvented something which is uh, which can go massive. So the purpose of both are, are the same except that one can handle a large number of participants at the same time. 
So uh, in this, we will be using uh, Moodle for offline assessment and peer evaluation, that you submit something and it is evaluated by your own peers. You evaluate others, which is currently not possible in the MOOCs platform, so which is why we have to use both these together. So in IIT Bombay X, which is the MOOCs platform which we are going to use, the self-assessments are like this. So after every short video, there will be a self-assessment. So some things will be very quick, like fill in the blanks, multiple choice and so on, which will, to recollect what you have immediately what you have heard, you just need to fill out. So, so it just reinforces what you have under, uh, listened to. It's not like very detailed uh, solve a problem or something like that. Very quick recollection of facts. Or some message will be given and you have to interpret that message. So examples would be um, true false statements or multiple choice or fill in the blanks and so on or match the columns and so on. Happens every week. Okay, every week you have this. Uh, every week a set of lectures are uploaded. Set of about uh, uh, five to ten lectures are uploaded, each of ten minute duration. And after every ten minute duration, they have to uh, answer the quiz, and then that's done. Or there might be a detailed submission. So this ten video lectures and the quiz submission. This quiz submission will be the following week. Okay, so you have one week to listen and one week to submit. And the second form of assessment, the online assessment will be peer evaluation. So peer evaluation essentially means, peer means we are all peers. The participants in this course are peers of the other participants in this course. The actual participants in this course are those uh, teachers who will be coming to your, so let's say there are about 5,000 teachers. So these 5,000 teachers will be uh, enrolled to this IIT Bombay X as well as Moodle and they will participate in this uh, peer evaluation. So this could be subjective evaluations like you ask them to write a report or you ask them to write a summary. Okay? And then how do we evaluate, how do you uh, evaluate 10,000, uh, 5,000 uh, papers? We can't do that practically. So what we do is we give them set of guidelines how to evaluate. So we, what you should look for in a good writing, what you should look for in a good presentation. So all this is uh, given as a set of criteria. And against each criteria, uh, participate, evaluate other participants, participants. So usually the way, how do you grade them? The grade, grade is given was 80% of a total mark for a particular assignment is given for how much marks you got by five others who evaluated you. Okay? And then 20% is given for how good you evaluated others. Okay? Suppose you have an assignment and uh, how good you are to the, how close you are to the average mark that person got. Suppose you, it is all done anonymously, so you don't know whom you are evaluating. So suppose you consistently give very bad grade to somebody, you will get less than 20%. Suppose you give consistently um, uh, superb grades for a, a person, then also you will stand to lose. So this way, you are bound to give a as good or correct evaluation. We don't know what correct is, but in general, that will average out to be the same. How good you are close to the average marks is the way you are evaluated for your evaluation. Okay, so this was the online part, and then the offline part. What we have is we have these remote centers. For us, it is remote. For the teachers who join, for them, it is local. So people in Gujarat will probably go to some center there. From People from south will go somewhere there and so on. So all these uh, centers, remote centers for us or local centers for you, will have teachers uh, registering there and coming to attend the workshop in December. So that will be the face-to-face -face part. Now the online part will be spread over five weeks. So five weeks of online content and then five days of December face-to-face -face workshop. So first they will go through this online content and then come for this uh, remote uh, sorry, local centers there. So all this is done after they have listened to their online part and uh, they're all, these centers are all connected by an audio video link so that we can see all the centers and suppose we switch on one particular center, 
that particular center's, uh, some, somebody is making a presentation in one circle, we'll just beam that to all the centers, everybody can see. If somebody asks a question and then we respond to them, all that everybody else will listen. So it's like a very large classroom happening uh, uh, face to face. Yeah. So for online, uh, this participation are not to come to the center, remote center? Yes, they, they have to come. So uh, we, I will go through the, I know there will be a lot of questions and uh, let me just quickly do this. We have a lot of time to uh, discuss. Again, tomorrow morning we will discuss uh, uh, this one. So, so the interaction that happens here is with course coordinators, which is you. You are the course coordinators in the local centers. So these people will come there and uh, uh, take this and we will also be connected remotely. So this face-to-face uh, -face is basically some tutorial activities which we uh, will tell you. And this coordinators workshop is like a mash of both online as well as face-to-face. -face. So now you will get a feeling in this five days what will happen in the five weeks as well as what will happen in the five days of workshop. So this is going to be very intense. So it's good from morning 9 o'clock till uh, 5.45 in the evening. It's going to be a continuous, uh, of course we have breaks. We'll try to keep it as uh, entertaining as possible. But it's going to be very heavy because we're going to cover a lot of them. We'll not cover everything, definitely not possible. We'll just give you a feel of what are things that are going to come. And then that will help you coordinate your individual centers. So how this course can be used later? So this course uh, can be used by colleges who have this technical communication in their curriculum. Most of you have. But the Syllabus might be slightly different. So what it can be done, what can be done later is the students, the actual um, undergraduate or postgraduate students, will enroll themselves for free in IIT Bombay X, okay, and they will learn the subjects online, and then complete the self assessments, and then the college instructors who are the instructors who come for this course like those teachers those 5000 teachers will be conducting these classes and these people the students who have finished those lectures online will come to their classroom say one week of, they will listen of one week of lecture online they will have a classroom activity face to face so just as those teachers had face to face with us the students will have face to face with them but the students would have gone through the same online uh, uh, initiation first and then they'll come to the classroom. So then essentially, they will be using IIT Bombay X for a flipped classroom. Right? So this is the broad idea of this whole course that it can uh, sustain over a large time. Okay, so now, uh, to give you a feel of what the kind of online quizzes that would be, for example, it could be very short question like this. So you can try this now for yourself. Choose the correct statements from below. Now I have given you a 10 minute presentation. This will be a 10 minute presentation that would be seen by a typical course, a typical lecture in the actual course. So following that we'll have examinations like this. So choose the statements from below. Moodle is a MOOC platform, true or false? False. Online self-assessment are conducted through IIT Bombay X. True. Participants of a course evaluate other participants by peer assessments. True. True. Moodle is a brand of blended noodles. True. True. It's false. It's false. It's not noodles. Without high lead content. Without lead content, okay. During face to face workshop, participants have to come to IIT Bombay. No. False. So they come to the local centers. So something like this. So quickly, now I presented. A very short thing in a very uh, lot of information in a very short time, but how much you it you are able to uh, assimilate. So if you have a if you have not listened to something, you just go rewind the video and play it again. So this is what the teachers will be doing. This is what the students will be doing later. Okay, fill in the blanks. Video lectures in IIT Bombay are of <laughs> minute. Home assignments are to be submitted in the Dash platform. Face-to-face -face workshop are also called as <laughs> IIT Bombay is Dash based on Dash platform. Okay, this was not covered here, but it was, it was very fast. IIT Bombay is a MOOCs 
based on open edX platform okay so open edX which people have modified it a little for our periodic activity in IIT Bombay is of dash duration one week okay so things like this okay so this will this will be the kind of quick assessments that follows a video lecture followed by detail assessments which will be peer evaluated okay so detail assessments will be like this so detail assessments will have something right uh, some assignment and they summarize it and then there will be how to evaluate so how good was the quality of work it was extensively covered only one or two MOOCs were presented so the question is find out what are the other MOOCs platforms and they write a small essay now that essay has to be evaluated by others so they look at how many MOOCs platform record very good this is average this is poor this is again very good average poor so just you just need to see how to evaluate so this way you have a quick evaluation but you can scale up the evaluation to several thousands easily okay so I'll stop here we'll have a, a short break we have little overshot time but we should come back here by 10:45. thank you